Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC High Speed Counter Input Duration Measurement Mode. And what you'll see is that um, all the detailed information contained in the video can be found at our website at accautomation.ca. A link has been put into the description below. If you've not, not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video number one. And there will be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. So up on my screen, we have, uh, we're actually going to be connecting a Dart uh, magnetic pickup to our Click PLC. This is the actual wiring diagram. It can be wired up um, in assembly diagram. It can be actually wired up as a sinking or sourcing load to our Click. So we're going to actually wire up like this. So our common will set up plus uh, 24 volt. Our um, Input X1 will be connected to our signal switching on the dart, which is the uh, white wire. And then our power wire, which is our red wire on the dart, is going to the plus 24 volt. And the black wire on the dart will go to 0 volt DC. So that is our wiring diagram. And the first thing we'll do is call up our high speed input which is located right here or if we look under the navigation it's under the function and you'll see the high speed counter input there so either one we can call up so when we call that up we get our uh, high speed input configuration file and this is where everything happens now what we're going to do is look at our duration measurement which is right here so what we're doing is actually looking at the pulse itself and measuring that pulse. So what we'll do is hit use this mode. When we do, the actual duration measurement configuration window now appears and it shows us a diagram of exactly what we're going to be measuring and looking at. So we'll leave a, most of these fi uh, figures the same or, or uh, default values. So the name duration 1 will sign automatically. Our duration uh, time we're going to put in DD1 and so now our diagrams changed so we can see where our time frame is. We'll change our milliseconds to microseconds it, uh, as our unit time unit so it's actually going to measure in microseconds the time that that duration is or that pulse is on. And then you'll see that our, our pulse input we can select as our pulse input one that we have wired which is X1 and you can see when measurement is on you can also to go off again we can do the off measurement or on we'll leave it as the on measurement and now we can call it if we wanted to we can call it interrupt program when their measurement starts and also we can call it measurement or interrupt program when the measurement ends so we can create these interrupt programs uh, in our logic to do certain functions as, as we wish. Then we have a measurement complete. This measurement complete will assign a bit that will turn on when, the, when we have a good value in the unit. Now when we do that it'll latch that bit so we need programming code to unlatch it. So for now we're going to leave that off. And we can always use the reset and use enable. If you don't use the enable as a bit, then what happens is the counter is always enabled for us with this uh, uh, high speed counter and the timing the duration will always be enabled. So we're going to hit OK. And you'll notice that these uh, check marks here are all green or yellow, so that means everything is good to go. And here is our up our update screen here so you see here our pulse are, is ready to go and down here you can see we can hit edit or delete to uh, modify these settings so we hit edit it just goes back to our our uh, duration measurement configuration so we hit cancel to that one and then we can just hit OK so our program is now complete and what we will do is we will actually transfer this over to our PLC hit OK and we'll, we'll proceed with the runtime edit there we go. 
cycle. So it's actually writing it into the PLC. Now if we actually look at our hardware, this is our PLC. We're connected through our Ethernet port right here. And this is our Dart uh, magnetic pickup. We have our three wires, our signal wire connected to X1. We have our red wire connected to the plus 24 volt DC. Our black connected to the zero volt DC. And our common for the input point is at plus 24 volt. So we're all set to go. And what we'll do is call up our uh, data view. And the data view will actually show us the actual time that we're measuring located right here DD1 and there's our current time this is in an integer format so let's just uh, turn on the drill and we will actually see some duration or the pulse duration that we have the higher or the faster we go the smaller the number we get which is exactly what we expected so and we can keep on going so that actually shows us the time duration that we have on those pulses now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our two free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.